In this presentation, we go over the solution to the working with a local repository and branches exercise. This is just one way of solving it. So let's go check it out, but you may have taken a slightly different approach. So the first thing we want to do is to make a project directory. So we use the mkdir command. Then we go into that directory using the cd command. And finally, we initialize a repository using the git init command. Then I go to my source code editor and I open up my book project folder. Now I want to make a new file and I call this file chapter1.txt and then I go into that file and I add some text. You can add any text you like and I save the file. And then I make my first commit. So I add the file to the staging area and I make my first commit and I pass in the message added chapter one. Great, so now we can see we have one commit in our repository. Then I'm gonna go and make some more changes to the chapter one.txt file. You can add any text you like. And I'm going to go and make another commit. So I'll add the updated file to the staging area and make another commit. This time my commit message is going to be added to chapter one. So now if we type in git log, we can see that we have two commits. The next step is to make a branch. And to do that, I'm gonna use the git branch command. So we can see that we have just one branch at the moment, but now we're gonna make a second branch called chapter two. And we're gonna check out this branch using the git checkout command. And now I wanna go into my source code editor and add another file called chapter2.txt. And here I'll add some text. You can add, once again, whatever text you like, save the file and make another commit. So add this file to the staging area and make a commit and my commit message is gonna be added chapter two. So now we can see if we wanna list all of the commits, we're gonna use the git log command and we can see that we have three commits in total. And if we want to look at all the branches we have, we use the git branch command. So now for the optional section, we initially have just one commit and the master branch points to it, that's in stage one. And we're on the master branch, so the head pointer is pointing to the master branch. Then in stage two, we make a second commit, so the master branch moves to points to the latest commit and we're still simply on the master branch, so the head pointer is still just pointing to the master branch. In stage three, we make a second branch. So now, not only do we have the master branch pointing to our latest commit, we're also gonna have a second branch called chapter two pointing to the latest commit. But note that we're still on the master branch. So in stage four, we actually switch into our chapter two branch. So you'll see that we're no longer on the master branch, so the head pointer will be pointing to the chapter two branch. And finally, in stage five, we're going to make another commit. So in total, we're gonna have three commits. And since we're on the chapter two branch, when we make that other commit, the chapter two branch will move to point to the latest commit. So that was the solution for this exercise. See you at the next lesson.